Today we're going to talk a little bit about weld positions and I have some little drawings that we're going to go through. When we talk about this, I want everybody to remember it's not how your plate is sitting that determines what the position is, it's how that weld is oriented. Basically the way I want you to think of it is if you draw a line from the center of the face down through the root, where is that line going to be pointing? In the case of a flat weld like this, if we go from the center of the face down through the root, it's pointing down at the ground. That makes it flat. For our horizontal welds, we're pointing off to the side. And it can be either side, but if it's pointing to the side, we're looking at horizontal. And our overhead, we're going to be pointing up. Remember, overhead doesn't mean it's over your head. It means you're pointing up. If it's three inches off the ground, if you're pointing up, it's still an overhead weld. That's how those look. And the other thing that we're going to look at is we have fillets and grooves. Fillet weld, groove weld, there'll be an F or a G. And then our positions are one, two, three, and four for flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. I know I didn't draw a picture for vertical because you're basically looking at the face of the weld when you're doing vertical, and we have some pieces that we'll look at to go through that. When you see a position, if we see one F, that's a flat fillet weld. Two G, that is a horizontal groove weld. I have little mock-ups of our five most common joints, and we're going to look at those, and I'll show you what they each look like in each position. The first one we're going to look at is our lap joint, and if you look, this piece of metal is going to be where our electrode is pointing, and it goes down through the center of the face and then out the root. So when my lap joint is sitting anywhere between here and here, that's flat. If I turn it and I'm between here and here, we're looking at horizontal. Our vertical is anything like this. And then our overhead is anywhere where this is pointing between here and here. So this is all overhead. All right, here's our T-joint. When we take our T-joint, our flat is here. Our horizontal is this area. Our overhead is like this, and then our vertical, once again, is standing up anywhere like this. On our groove welds, we have our flat, where we're pointing straight down to the ground, and it can be from here to here. Then we have our horizontal, like this, and then we have our overhead, anywhere from here to here, and our vertical is going to be like that. In this case, we're going vertical up. Here's our edge weld. We have our flat, our horizontal, our vertical, and our overhead. Our outside corner joint. Flat, is anywhere in here. Horizontal, vertical, and our overhead. 